hundreds of thousands of people are in tents. They don't have any place to go or in the streets. I'm one of them. It's cold, it's windy, it's raining. Our fears and the peoples who lost their homes became reality. It's winter, it's raining over people. People are making tents and cooking over the fire. They are living on the land, on the ground. And, uh, look at us. It's winter, it's officially winter. Hi hey everyone, this is Bissan. I'm still alive. We are from the last people that evacuated the north of Gaza. Thousands are walking. You have to walk for three to four hours. Many places are bumped. Even the road around us is being bumped during our walking. I don't have any place to go. I'm, I'm going to, to the unknown. I'm nowhere to go. No way. Hey everyone, this is Bisan from Gaza. I'm still alive and I'm now at the point where the new journey of the people who evacuated from the north to the south starts. People are escaping from the starvation from the bombing in the north to find any safe place in the south. After five days in the south, there is no safety there. Bombing is all over Gaza Strip. The people behind me and around me are people who evacuated their homes, uh, walked for, for hours to reach here because there is no vehicles. At this point, they start using donkeys to reach the middle area, Khan Yunus and Rafah. Some people take an initiative uh, to distribute water and baskets for people on Salah al-Din Road after their journey, long journey. People in Salah al-Din are watching the bombing over there, next to them. The safe road, as they say, is not safe. The Israeli army take a lot of people, arrest them, they bomb, and many people walk for hours and hours. They're afraid of the Israeli soldiers and the tanks and, and the bombing around and everything. It's not safe for people. It's terrifying, it's exhausting. And by the way, it's a bombing just minutes ago. Can you zoom to know? after the hospital was bombed. There is no media there. Everything that is reaching from there, the photos, the videos, the audios, the news are from civilians themselves. After reaching the south, the mission now is to find a place to sit in, to sleep in, and I'm now at uh, the Nasser Medical Complex in Khan Yunus. People are making tents here to sleep. People are trying to make the tents as much as they can ready for the winter. I mean, putting some plastic, making them tied to the land as much as they can, of course, because tents and winter. I mean, we're not in our homes anymore. So let's see some of them. 
So the situation here is really bad. It's raining, it's cold, people are on the ground. The tents uh, yani, are not waterproof. The yeah. raining, every, they are droning every uh, night since uh, yani, the beginning of this week. Uh, there is no enough water yani, for drinking. It's salty water, there is no hygiene, there is no bathrooms for all these people, unfortunately. And of course, there is no enough food. So people here are eating day yes and day no. That's the situation here. It's getting worse, unfortunately. So this is Sama. Look at her now. Habibti, alhamdulillah, salama. I mean, in the south, there's also a shortage in the supplies like flowers, water, uh, vegetables, of course. So let's ask them how they managed to find some food because there's no food security in Gaza Strip. الطحين اللي كان عنده في بيته طحين قبل الحرب هو اللي كسبها الحين عايشين عليه على بواقي يعني امبارح في خبزه امبارح راجل قد حاله اجى بقول له بس بدي ارغي فيه مقطع عند ابن الصغير هذا بحد ذاتها معاناه احنا مش قادرين ندبر امورنا هنا الوضع صعب في الحياه والمسكن وداخلين على شتاء حنتبهدل زلونا المحتلين زلونا مش متوفر حاجه يعطيك العافيه والصحه يا رب حبيبتي يا بسام الله يعافيك Okay, so just to know, people are without any roof. They're actually yani, getting sick day after day. So I think we need yani, to, to hear from a doctor. في أطفال وسط ميتة من قلة تناول تناول مضاد الحاوية من قلة الشرب. زي ما إحنا شايفين طبعاً إحنا في يعني في ضمن أيام الحرب هاي. انه انتشار او بدا موجة البرد الحارة والمخفضات الجوية الباردة وصول حالات التهابات رئوية شديدة التهابات في الجهاز التنفس العلوي التهابات في الجهاز التنفس السفلي حالات طبعا بسبب الاوضاع نزوح ونزوح العائلات من الشمال واكتظاظ المستشفى وفي يعني اطفال وجونا نازحين من الشمال كانوا بوضع سيء جدا احكي لي عن اصابتك انت وين اتصابت؟ انا درست الفخورة من اتصابت كيف كان الوضع في الأندونيسي وليش طلعتوا؟ إيش لا وصل يجوا الصباط شو هذا يرموا على الأرض إيش لا كهرب ولا ماء ولا إيش ولا حاد ولا أكل هذا هو يستشهد إيش عنده؟ not enough to uh, pull uh, the, the dead bodies from under the rubble and bury them to open the roads to treat the injuries. We need a ceasefire. We need to go back to our homes. 1.7 million people are internally displaced and need to go back to their homes.